we are a notoriously untidy gardeners and the reason we are is so that the wildlife has somewhere to live. Here's some comfrey growing out of the grass. So this no mow may, I'm going to give you a little tour of the bit of garden outside our kitchen door. If you can hear me over the birds, that is. Uh, that's forget-me-not. And here, of course, the beloved cow parsley. Um, the pink nettles, obviously, very important for the butterflies. The pink flower you can see there is campion, which is higher than my waist. I'm only five foot two, of course, so not very exciting height. Um, here, honesty, self-sown from my cut flower patches. Um, lovely thing to have in your garden. Gorgeous colour. And we're going to go along. We have mown a path because otherwise um, you'd get very wet. We've had lots of lovely rain, for which I'm very grateful. And I'm going to duck under here. And look, here's a no mow area. And you can see it's full of other things like a uh, brain dead moment. Um, clover. Buttercups are coming. The cow parsley is everywhere, which is lovely. And then I have a bed here. This was a flower bed. Now I'm going to get rid of the flower bed, but I'm going to keep this pink person is Persicaria mistorta, uh, which is a bit of a thug in a normal damp bed. But actually, with a lot of competition like this, is very happy. Got to keep the dandelions because the seeds are you can see somebody's been eating away um, and the bees love it when they're in flower this is a dock just coming up the seeds on that will actually it's not dock it's wild sorrel um, and the seeds on that will feed all sorts of birds but also it's very good cut into floristry here we have the lungwort which is spreading into the grass. If I mowed the grass all the time, you wouldn't see the lungwort. Here is feverfew spreading into the grass and a lovely aquilegia, granny's bonnet. And they're just growing into the grass themselves. Um, this is very good, the leaf if you get bee stung. My brain is overwhelmed and I can't remember what it's called. Telema grandiflora, personal favorite. Look at it under the apple tree really happily settled in if we mowed carefully we wouldn't see this um, and all those flower heads are providing nectar for people um, here comes Fabrizio who says I'm a weirdo look more lung work hey Fabrizio I need to, can you tell me what um, look ox lips <laughs> it's cow's lips. no these are ox lips they're bigger can't, they're not real. Are they, they are, they're oxlips, but I need you to tell me what this is called. Coming around here, what's the tall purple person here? It's a, um, the one that grows through the grass here. You do know this one. There you go. So then, then we've got a lovely big patch of bugle that works its way all the way along the path here. And you can see that if we mowed like mad mowing people, then, oh, stop arguing. So they're not ox lips. <laughs> he says they're not ox lips. I say they are. Um, uh, anyway, there you go. A picture of no mo may. Uh, it's worth it, I think. Really. Bye. Oh, no, wait a minute. <laughs> no, bye. Enough. This bye. is ribwork plantain. I had to find out. So my name is Georgie Newbury. Please hit the bell so that you're told when there are more little films and subscribe and I'll take you further around our wildflower garden as the year goes by. Ta! Look, even the mint is growing out into the grass and there's something else I want to show you. Come with me. One more thing. Look, Look at the granny's bonnets. They're grannies and their bonnets. And, oh, blue friend I can't remember what that's called either speedwell that's it it's called speedwell <laughs> no good doing this kind of filming if I don't remember what everything's called anyway 
you get my drift. So uh, do a little bit less mowing and enjoy a few more flowers. <laughs>